All right, we're joined now by a couple of uh, good old friends here. Lavelle Edwards, former BYU football coach, and Ron McBride, the former Ute and Weaver State head football coach. Gentlemen, it is yeah. great to see you here. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, good to see you. You look, you look cute. Well, thank you. <laughs> and, and Lavelle, doesn't he look good in blue? <laughs> he looks... He comes closer to looking cute than you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's a good statement. I, I hope they're watching. Yeah. Uh, the reason we brought you in, besides to, uh, you know, discuss fashion statements, uh, you guys are hosting a Legends tournament Friday at Thanksgiving Point. Uh, you're bringing Utes and Cougars, uh, former players, back together for a golf tournament. Certainly are. And you're uh, supporting the Haloti Nanta Foundation, Foundation. And you're supporting the Boys and Girls Boys Club. And Girls Club. Right. So you both like golf. You, you've done a lot of charity work throughout the year. So why well, host a Legends tournament now? So then when they were having the battle between the basketball, you know, about the basketball thing with yeah. with, with I said, well, maybe we ought to do something to bring the two sides together, you know, and kind of a love me, you know, love you man type thing where, yeah. where you're not really playing for anything. You just got youths and cougars playing in a, in a golf tournament together and kind of enjoying the day with each other. And, and uh, so that was kind of the original concept. And then it kind of well, we, we took off right. from there. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's grown... <laughs> it's grown out of proportion, you yeah. know. Because you're full. Yeah, we're full, and they got people calling me from all over the country. Hey, I'll be in for your tournament. I'm thinking, well, you, you, you can come down, but you might not play. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of golf, recently Kalani Sataki and Kyle Whittingham got together. Utah and BYU coaches sitting together yeah. at the table at lunch, well, hugging each other, well, well, having a good time. We haven't seen you know, that for a while. Uh, I've liked this guy even when he was coaching at the wrong school and uh, <laughs> we were facing each other and Ron and I have been great friends uh, during that period of time and since then we just had a great time together. Well the thing about Lavelle all those years he never turned down anything as far as to help people ever if he had to drive to Salt Lake or whatever he had to do just you know that's that's what he did and and even though he was riding the high horse at that time he never acted like he was riding the high horse he just he just was Lavelle being Lavelle as I would say it and uh, like somebody would ask me well how can you like that guy I said well how could you ever dislike him yeah. you know what I mean, I'm gonna do is go home and figure out what a high horse is <laughs> <laughs> Well, I learned all kinds of things when I started hanging around you. Well, you know? I've got a vocabulary that, that's very, really, I know it. That's, that's very, very distinct. You've done a very good job with it. Yeah. <laughs> so when you, you said when, so, when <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about you. Okay. <laughs> so when when you said when he was uh, you know beating the Utes all yeah. those years and uh, he never rode in on his high horse type thing and but when. He started getting a few wins over your Cougars. Well, and he I, found out, I found out what a high horse was. <laughs> <laughs> we, we lived off that 34 31 for, oh, for a lifetime. You know, that he invited me down to play golf at his club. I think it was Richie Smith and Arnie Farron yeah. and you and I, right? And so he said, you know, card blank down here, just sign my name, you know, if you want to eat or anything. So. I signed his name, and then I, and then they, then they went. Well, what's his number? I said, well, it's thirty-four, thirty-one. <laughs> the people, the people, the guy's just frowning at me, right? I said, well, that's what he told me to sign. And <laughs> so, all right, you guys have known each other for years and years. Had a lot of great uh, uh, competitive days. Had a lot of laughs. Yeah. A lot more laughs than probably competitive days because you guys are such good friends. So, Ron, when you, when somebody says. What first comes to your mind when you think of Lavelle Edwards? What would that be? Respect. Yeah, respect for what he stands for. Um, I always say he's he's the best representative that the church could ever have, you know, because he really, the brand name BYU really came about because of him, in my opinion. You know, I mean, I mean, the church people probably wouldn't agree, but, you know, I'd have to, from in the profession I'm in, you know, so he was... He was always known to BYU Lavelle Edwards. Yeah. And Lavelle, when someone asks you what first comes to your mind when you think of Ron McBride, what would that be? Are we on the air? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, I, th 
thought you told me he was fading. <laughs> 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 Uh, he's a guy, that, like I said, that uh, I liked the guy from the first time we ever met, and when he was an assistant up there, and when he would, what happened when you got kicked out of the BYU Stadium? What was all that about? <laughs> no, I, anyway, he. Uh, I hadn't heard about that one of you. No, no I, I don't know didn't. if he got what, kicked out or whatever. We well, just, sort of, I did. Well, yeah. On the south end, that, the, that, the, that day goal post. What was it? The, the day we kicked that field goal to beat you, you know, mm -hmm. the, oh. the people were real nice to me when I came in the stadium. They weren't very nice to him going out. No, <laughs> the guys. So my daughter's out there with the car waiting for me. And, and he go, the guy goes out and tells my daughter, if you don't move this car in two minutes, we're towing it. I said, my daughter calls on someone and says, hey, Dad, they're going to tow the car away. He said, no, I, they told me I could park wherever I wanted. Said, she said, well, I think things have changed. <laughs> How much pride do you take in what you're able to accomplish now that you have a chance to look back and appreciate what, what you did, especially when you consider what college football is like nowadays? Well, I, you know, we uh, went to a function the other night where they had some of that 96-year-old, 96 football team. And it was kind of fun to see a lot of the old players and uh, that came back for it and uh, talk with them, because some of them I hadn't seen uh, since that time. And uh, so that was kind of a special year and uh, for us. And, and then, of course, uh, it's always fun to go back and look at, you know, things, teams like that, experiences and whatever they went through. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> before you answer that question, there's been a little bit of debate. Was the 96 team, was that your best team? Or was it the 84 National Championship team or the year after that? Would you classify the 96 team as the best? You know what? In my own mind, I've thought about that a lot. And I picked one or two years there, two or three. And uh, that team was the best. And all of a sudden, think about it for a while. Well, I'm not sure. You know, <laughs> this and that. And that's honest. And in my, even in my own mind, I don't. And if I ever did, I wouldn't, I wouldn't publicly say it. I was just going to say, OK, the 96 team, what are the other two? 84 and uh, 85. That 85 team was really pretty good, too. Yeah, OK. And with, like he mentioned, the Utes in the Pac-12, you set that foundation. Well, I think the, the thing that we always did is, it, you know, for the first bowl appearance we had is that if we had an opportunity to pay a, a, a Pac-10 team, we were always going to take that road because we just felt that 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 bring, brought more prestige to, to the university, brought more name recognition to the university. And so when, when we, we would look at opportunities of who to play, you know, that was out there, and we'd try to get a matchup with, with, with a, a Pac-10 team. A Pac -10 team. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, are we done? Well, I don't know. Well, we we ran out of film. <laughs> we could sit here and talk for a while. It won't matter. It's Monday now. All right, yeah. <laughs> we're trying to, we're, that's the best line. That's a good one to end. Oh, that's great, yeah. <laughs> what time's the show over? <laughs> At this when point, you, whenever you want it. You two say it's over. <laughs> okay. Are we done? Hey. I'm going to check with Patty. Patty, are we think, done? <laughs> the Patty wife, the boss done. says we're done. Okay. <laughs> so can I say one more thing? Oh, okay, sure. So Does it matter night, if we say no? No. <laughs> no. So last night I'm making this little speech at this foundation thing, and my wife and my daughter are going out there like this. In other words, get him off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said, so Soppy comes up and grabs me and says, okay, coach, that's good. <laughs> hey, Matt. Okay, we're done. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Uh, hey, appreciate it. Hey, and I'm telling you, over the last 30 years, you've really got better looking, Zendel. <laughs>